What's up, y'all? This is Swing. Uh, right now, we're going to take a listen to the new Gold Link album. Uh, and after that, we didn't talk. Uh, Gold Link is a MC out of, I think it's DC. DC. Uh, he made some noise last year with um, his album, The God Complex. Um, heard some good things about this, so I'm very interested to take a look. Uh, I think I'm just going to jump right into it. So the first track is After You Left. Definitely a nice, nice on the production end. I'm really digging the synth and kind of like this smooth little bass line underneath. Definitely a different vibe. It's coming to a close here, but uh, interesting intro, definitely. I believe the next one is uh, Zipporah. I'm definitely fucked with this beat. I love the drum sounds. Definitely not your regular, not your regular run of the mill snares and kicks. It's nice. It's a nice up and down to the nature of the track. It definitely brought me up and then kind of took it from me and, you know, brought me back, but it, it kept me entertained sonically. I believe the next track is called uh, Dark Skin Women. Here we go. It's got like some future funk bounce to it. I really love this. It's like, I mean, maybe it's 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 kind of a unique little arsenal of sounds that he's brought so far, and uh, I'm I'm really digging it. It's uh, it's got a nice upbeat bounce to it, but it doesn't sound too familiar. Uh, so I believe the next track is uh, Spectrum. Dang. I like that little pickup right there. That definitely, uh, I was like, mm. no, I wasn't vibing all the way through the track, but this hook, it's got a great cadence. Uh, the next song, I believe, is Dance On Me. Real nice. I mean, it's it's definitely uh, kind of the most commercial sound that I've heard so far. But it's got this nice down tempo R and B vibe, but he picks it right up. Real nice with the production. It's uh, it's a good up and down little ride. All right, so I think the next track is Late Night, featuring Masigo. Killer production. Killer. I mean, late night, perfect title, perfect vibe. I, I see it immediately. Production, very on point. So the next track is going to be Palm Trees. Did I mess this up? I think this might be unique. I'm oh, sorry, man. This drink got me messed up here. Either way, it's got a really nice. Little bounce to it. I mean, not like the rest of this album has it, but it's just something about it. And some pop. Bring that soulful vibe to it. I really thought he did his thing. Definitely a quality feature. Fucked up on that one. I assumed that this next one is actually Palm Trees. Here we go. I love this light little strum guitar. Just. Mm. Sounds kind of like a ukulele, actually. I'm sorry. So the next track is going to be Polarized. Steady production. Quality little thump. Not vibing quite as much as I was with the other tracks, but the, the bounce is on the knot still. So the next track is going to be New Black. You 
No, he's he's hiding a decent little message underneath such a bouncy track here. And the very last track is going to be See I Miss. I cannot vibe with this track. This is such a smooth and soothing little beat, but it's completely got me captivated. And his, his flow on this beat is... It's, I, don't, I don't know how it's, it's, it's like jazzy. is just very, very on top of the beat and it's like its own little thing you know syncopated between this this simple beat with this uh, I don't want to say overly complex but it's just like this cadence is not something it's something of his own that he placed right on top of it and it fits so nicely on top of such a simple beat it, it's so clean all right so I just finished my first listen of uh, gold link and after that we didn't talk um right off the bat i really gotta praise the production on this uh it's a very unique sound that gold link is bringing um and it's it's not just the the beats themselves but the sounds within them you know he brought quite a an unfamiliar array of sounds and he perfectly blended it with the vocals and all these layers in in each track and uh you know even when they were simple these just little things just kept me kept me intrigued sonically and uh that's something that i definitely enjoyed about this album um another thing was his his flow honestly uh for having such a unique production palette he really still can flow on there and i mean that's that's something i'm probably going to give a little bit more listen to on on these you know repeat listens as far as you know what he's saying and what he's coming at but the way he's saying it is not not your everyday and it takes a little something extra uh to to flow on these kinds of beats because it's not just it's not simple and and i can definitely appreciate that and he definitely uh rose to the occasion as far as being able to take on these beats and he definitely made sure that it wasn't completely falling back on the production um i think that on the first listen uh gold link and after that we didn't talk I would definitely say hit the download. Uh, it's quality listen, quality vibe that he's bringing to you. Um, there's there's plenty of bounce to go around, and this little electronic dance hip hop lane that that he has right here, whatever we want to you know box it in as. He's really got it nailed down for being such a unique take on the hip hop genre, and uh, it's definitely, definitely worth a listen. So I say, find yourself a link, drop a couple dollars his way, swing.